Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Poland. We are currently preparing to invade Hungary and to, to sort of kind of betray Hitler. Also, we have gotten some new military factories, uh, which we are currently not using. Mm, so, I guess I could get some new division templates and I'll show this off while that's going on. So. Um, I can edit the divisions. Let's do a duplicate. And doing that costs experience, military experience, and we gain it in battle and so on. So let's say I want to make an artillery division. I will add some artillery over here. One anti air unit, just in case. Lots of artillery mm, units. And we'll also keep some infantry. This will be a very big division. I guess I could reduce the number of infantry. And let's add an engineering company that will help it entrench better. You know what? Do we do we really need infantry in this division? We do, but not as much. Now, let's do half and half. I can even add uh, some tanks, but uh, we're not ready with tank research yet. Okay, so yeah, let's make an let's make a division like this. This is our artillery type one. Let's train five of those, maybe. Oh, where did we get artillery? Oh, right, when we conquered Romania, we got we have gotten the artillery. Mm, how many do we want? Let's train five on repeat. So now we actually need equipment. We need mm, anti-air and we need artillery. We'll need a bit of anti-air and we do need quite a bit, quite a lot of artillery. So let's say we'll do it like this. Right, so we do have normal infantry and we have that. Actually, I will deploy all this infantry and attach it to our main army. All right, let's cancel this plan. Do it once more. Ah, wrong border. Don't want to invade Yugoslavia. I guess we, we might want to. We don't uh, have the option because Yugoslavia, Yugoslavia is um, well. We have generated quite a lot of world tension now. So if we started to justify war goal against Yugoslavia, we would well they would have the independence protected by France or, um, or United Kingdom, and we wouldn't want to fight them. But we will be able to fight Hungary because they're fascist, and um, the Allies won't protect the fascists, and Germany won't protect them because we're allied with Germany. Okay. Guys, get on the borders. How long until this is done? Oh, 80 days. I guess I can train those guys for a bit. Let's exercise them. Can the regulars still get more experience from exercise? I don't think so. 46. Did they get some experience now? Did they just get experience? 46. I'm not sure if it changed or not. I don't think it did. Maybe they're trained by better regulars. So if you have a regular with higher experience, it will train this guy. It was called... this was this one, 46. It's still 46. Central region strategy. Mm, Alright, so we're now filling this up so we can get the additional research slot. Although it's kind of tempting to get the tanks. Alright. <clears throat> oh, and we're about to get the light tank. Um, but it's just the basic life tank. I'm not gonna build any divisions um, containing those tanks. I'm first going to research the higher level light tank 1. Let's research light tank 2 before we build tank divisions. Right, so, Hungary. Yeah, it's gonna take some time. In the meantime, our government is shifting more and more in the communist direction. Do you want a non-aggression pact? Not right now. 
Oh no, they have strategic reasons to be hostile towards me. That's bad. Well, maybe if we change to commun to a communist government, that will change. We'll see soon. Okay, let's increase the speed so we can attack Hungary. This war with Romania did take a long time, so my plan might not work out. I'm just picking the next uh, the next doctrine in line. We need more tungsten and steel. I guess we can afford to buy some. Uh, let's get some for the Soviet Union. Let's get some more from the Soviet Union. I do want to be friends with them. Yeah, right. Our guys are training. Mm, I'll stop their training when we have uh, a month to go. The justification is taking a long time. And again, I'm not going to call Germany in on that. Because they would want to, um, for example, puppet Hungary. And I just want to take everything. Okay. Let's stop the training. And actually... Oh, I should have done that earlier. Uh, let's draw the plan. So that they can get bonuses. Alright. The Munich Agreement and... The annexation of Zaolje. And France and Britain announce an alliance. We did just gain those two. Oh, class conflict. We get a boost to communism. Which is what we want. Come on, Soviet Union. Don't be a stranger. Don't be an enemy. Let's make sure to improve relations with them a little bit more. No, no, we just did that. Come on, Hungary. Just a month and we attack. And this should be quite an easy fight, actually. Because we do have a ton of troops. Expansion of new towns. Military factory or infrastructure. I prefer military factory. Yeah. Mm, let's. Communists demand referendum. Sure. Yes. We're st we are still allied with Hitler, so it doesn't matter if we become communists now. Come on, Stalin. Oh, now he will accept an aggression pact. Perfect. Because we're communists. Yes, friend. And now we are the Polish People's Republic. Judean, Judean People's Front. Uh, let's move all those fighters. Hmm, do we have a better airport? I don't think so. Maybe they will be able to... No, actually, this this is the same region, so they will be able to actually help. Good. The Soviet Union has accepted the non-aggression pact, and, as you can see, our flag has become a very communist one. And Władysław Gomułka is our current head of state. There will be no war against, between our countries, at least for now. That is what I want. I don't want the Soviet Union to eat me up. They are way more powerful than we are. Uh, but Hungary isn't. And again, sorry to my Hungarian friends, but we do need to stand against the Germans and the Soviets together under our rule. Here we go. I'm not going to call allies. And I'm going to execute the plan immediately. Let's see how it goes. Do we have our superiority? Planes don't... Yeah, they're, they're flying this way. We're advancing quite fast. I think it's good. And I can modify the government. Actually, I'm, I will modify the government because we're at war. So I can go to war economy which will be a very big boost to our economy. I could also do limited conscription to get more manpower, but we don't have enough power and political power to change that. Oh, also, I will need to remove that guy from office because we don't want to be all red. Can I, can I just fire him? 
Do you want to remove him for the cost of zero? Yes. I don't want to get rid of the communist influence just yet, but I don't want you to, you know, get us more of it. Oh, also, we have free civilian factories. I am going to... Hmm, what should we do? Should we build fortifications on the German border? Or the Russian border? Or should we just get some factories going? I guess I could get some early fortifications going on the German border, just in case. Just in case. Because, as you have probably guessed already, I'm going to leave the Axis soon. Oh, that music that you can hear in the background is actually a Polish piece. Come on, guys. You're doing great. Well, not so great in here, which is unfortunate, but overall, great. Hungary has way more troops than I expected them to. Now, um, if the Soviet Union doesn't break the non-aggression pact, we can, we can expect them to be more or less friendly towards us. And I think what we're going to do is leave this faction and join this faction. Once we have done what we need to do. Oh, we have units ready for deployment. Um, yeah, sure. I'll just go to Dublin, let's say. We're getting some artillery. Oh, we don't have enough support equipment. That's very unfortunate. Let's get some more support equipment. We'll get, we will get some factories soon. This factory is sort of being wasted, but if I cancel it now, we'll lose the efficiency that we have acquired so far. Although, we really need the fighters. Oh, sorry, that's air support, not fighters. Yeah, sure, let's keep it going. I think they're getting stockpiled somewhere. Oh, I can reduce the infantry equipment because we have way too much of that and instead get some more mm, support equipment and I have clicked that so that when we get more factories from Hungary which we will um, this will be filled up I guess I can actually deploy the units mm, that don't have support equipment they will not be trained properly but I can do that in a different way sure let, let's deploy them you're missing some equipment, big whoop. Get the artillery as well. I'll make them into a separate army. And we are completing those options, so we get the extra research slot. Okay, now those guys will become a new army. I will give you a general. Let's say... Uh, who? That's good for tanks. Reconnaissance, I don't know how useful that is. Let's get this guy because he's level 4. And you can start exercising this army. And we have research infantry equipment too, which is wonderful. Uh, that means that I can actually start producing better weapons. Now, this is easy to miss, so make sure that you do that when you research better equipment. You need to switch it here. Oh, I need more steel. This takes more steel. Uh, hello, Soviet Union. Would you like to sell me some more steel? Okay, what else do we need? We need aluminium, just a bit. I'll buy it from the Soviet Union. That should do it. Oh, and we do have some dockyards that are not doing anything. Uh, do I need ships? Yeah, sure, why not? Uh, we don't really have... I guess I can make some destroyers and submarines. I would have to... How do I deploy ships? I guess it doesn't matter. We'll find out later. We're not fighting any naval war right now. Let's do infiltration assault. Supply consumption reduction. Oh. And we have separated those guys. 
Uh, they will be taking attrition, but I can. I could actually assault them. Just take some units and attack them. Yeah. But uh, let's let's let them do what they want to do. The army is doing well. Did you get any levels yet? Level 6, that's amazing. Plus 30% attack. Wow. Right. Okay, those guys are being trained up quite quickly. And they'll get their reinforcements later. Mm. Do I want to upgrade my stuff? I do, but it's not the highest priority. I think I can... Uh, maybe... I can decide if I want to first build more troops or upgrade those that we have. I think I want to build more troops. Also, I need to get more manpower. We'll need to do limited conscription, I think. Hey guys, uh, can you just take care of this one? For me, please. Okay, good. Now we can rejoin the battles. Yeah, this is going quite well. Should, they should be surrendering, surrendering um, when I take Budapest soon. Uh, Stalin, Joseph, friend, are you still my friend? Yes, you are. Partisan suppression. Oh, we have unassigned air wings, really? Can I assign you here? Oh. Let's go to the air map. Mm, apparently I can't, maybe they're repairing or something. I just don't have the range. I guess I can rebase everyone here. Then they should be able to perform their missions. Uh, one airwing are already stationed in the airbase. So, you can't... Oh, I can't fit more airwings here. Okay, good to know. Light tank 2 has been researched. Good. Okay, um, now we're going to... Should I research light tank 3? No. We're going to research medium tanks. But, that will happen later. For now, I am going to focus on infantry a little bit more. Am I? Or tanks? Infantry or tanks? Actually, neither. I'm going to research this. Industry. And I'm going to actually order the production of some tanks for us. Light tank two, let's say this many, and get a division going. This is a basic armored division with three light tanks and nothing else. I guess I'm fine with that, although I could give them engineering company. It improves... Mm, no, 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 that's fine. Maybe a rec recon company? Now let's just make tanks be tanks. Five tanks. Deploy them in uh, Kelta. Here we go. They will get produced at some point. Oh, and Hungary has surrendered. I am going to take everything. Treaty of Budapest. We have next Hungary. Now, I could I could do several things now. This is a very this is a turning point. I could uh, take Germany and Italy and invite invade the Soviet Union together. It doesn't seem like a very good idea. Oh, I should have waited until Czechoslovakia g uh, was divided and gave some land to Hungary. Then I would have gotten more land from it. Ah, doesn't matter. Um, or I could um, I could. I don't know, maybe invited someone south, like Yugoslavia or Bulgaria, but probably the Allies would join in. What I am going to do instead is make sure that Stalin likes me. Seems like he does. I am going to leave the Axis now. 
Hello, did you research the Ribbentrop Molotov claim mm, pact yet? I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. <clears throat> uh, worst case scenario, he will attack us. Although, that's sort of risky. No, no, I'm going to leave the Axis. And I'm going to join... Uh, would you take me back, Hitler, if I wanted to? No, because we're the wrong ideology. And they have strategic reasons to be hostile towards me. But I'm going to join Joseph in the Comintern party. Now we're sort of safe from Hitler. Sort of. Not really, though. Okay, you guys, I'm going to deploy to the front line alongside here. And you guys, I still haven't decided where I'm going to deploy you. I guess around here. No, 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 that's not well drawn. Yeah, around here. Czechoslovakia will, through an event, become a puppet of Germany. Then we can just, you know, expand our guys across there. And we can now modify the government, if we so choose. We really don't want to right now. Okay, how is the deployment going? You guys are getting your first training. I'm not really getting any tanks yet. Uh, I guess I can get rid of those close air support guys, because we're not really needing them right now. We certainly don't need that much support equipment, so let's switch it to here. And now we are actually producing enough tanks. Okay, that should work out fine. Although I could get more infantry equipment. Um, if you want more than that many factories, you just, just have to make another instance of the same thing. Okay, how are our ideas? Fill railway gaps. As you can see, the world tension is pretty high. That means even democracies can justify wars. But not against someone who has been peaceful the entire time. And they have been trained... It's still January, so we're relatively safe from Hitler right now. Temporarily. I don't know if the Ribbentrop-Molotov Pact has been signed. Unknown focus, we don't know. Because if he signs the... Um, where is that? Oh, this one. The Ribbentrop-Molotov Pact, they get a non-aggression pact. And as I am in Comintern, that should make it impossible for Hitler to attack me. Although, if the Danzig or War event triggers, well, then we'll see. Wait a minute, I could have gotten that in the entire time, even without expanding all these things? Well, the game's new. We're still learning. Yeah, let's go, go for the next uh, research slot. Also, it is time to end the episode now. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure to let me know by clicking the like button. And we are now communists. But don't worry, it's temporary. See you soon.